Welcome to my weekend vlog. It is Wednesday and uh, I don't know the date. It's been such a crazy, fun, exciting weekend. So let me hurry up and talk because there's so much I want to say and I know this is probably going to be a really long vlog so I hope you guys are ready to watch. All right, so first of all, I'm going to back up a little bit. Today is Wednesday, like I said. Um, this past Saturday, my baby, she's my oldest actually, Morgan, got engaged to Tony who we absolutely adore. So let me tell you real quick how it all happened. I'm going to insert just a little bit of the footage of when she walked into her surprise engagement party. Though if you guys do want to watch the entire video, I um, upload it on VMO and I will list it in the description section. So basically, Tony had called us a few weeks ago and asked for our permission for uh, his hand in marriage for my daughter. Uh, what he did is she went out to run errands and uh, he had photos of the two of them in a path, like sort of a path with rose petals um, in the living room and dining room. Um, he had the music Marry Me by Train on. And so when she walked in, she heard the music. She followed, she like looked down. She saw the photos of the both of them. Rose petals followed the path and there Tony was on one knee. So amazing. <laughs> He had a box um, with the ring was in, and when the, she opened the box after he asked her, it actually had a camera in it, and it videoed him asking her to marry him. So, just an amazing, special moment. I was so nervous. The phone was ringing. She called me, and I was like, didn't know how to answer. I was so excited, and uh, I'm like, hello? And she's like, mom, and she's crying. In the meantime, though, back things up. My sister's in town. All of our families here, we basically, Tony threw a surprise engagement party. She had no idea that that was coming next. Basically, she thought that she was just going to go out to dinner with him to celebrate their engagement. But all she kept telling Tony was, Tony, I wish my mom was here. So anyway, they got dressed up, out to dinner they go. We had the restaurant actually queued. So when they walked in the door, Mary Me came on the, 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 the music. It was amazing but she still didn't didn't register with her as she turned the bend and she kept walking there were while well, actually there were about a hundred people there and uh, she walked up and we all say congratulations and she started crying she saw me right away and we cried and hugged it was the most amazing night the most beautiful engagement party I can't tell you as a mom uh, is was one of the best moments of my life it really was it was just beautiful so I want to insert the clip of just the beginning part again you guys can watch the whole thing um, and so that was just amazing weekend just absolutely phenomenal so um, my sister's in town and um, we've got a lot going on this week and it's gonna be a fun vlog so I hope that you guys are ready to come along with me because I cannot wait to have you um, just meet more of my family uh, we're gonna go out to dinner tonight with my stepsisters you'll get to meet them and uh, hopefully they're not too camera shy and uh, so I'll check in with you guys here in a little bit as you can hear Archie's outside the bedroom door and he wants my attention so I will see you guys here in a bit
Alright you guys, well I'm back in my room again and <laughs> it is about 5.15. We're going to head out to have dinner with uh, my stepsisters. It is cold, it is rainy. I've got my poncho back on that I bought for my last vlog. And so I hope that I can pull you guys out so I can introduce you to everybody. So it's going to be a fun dinner. I'm really looking forward to it. Didn't do very much today, just basically... Um, stayed in a house that was just crappy and just visited and just chilled out which was nice because we had a, such a busy uh, weekend and beginning of the week so it's nice just to chill out today so I will check in with you guys when we get to the restaurant out the restaurant with my stepsister so I'm going to show you everybody all right these are my stepsister we love you Dina Nick, Todd, and Phil, down this way. Yeah. <laughs> I got the Italian. My favorite, you guys, the fish Italiano with broccoli. So we got some cabbage. We have to get pictures together before we leave. Yeah. Chicken and. Well, hi guys, happy Thursday. We've been busy this morning. I uh, got my new chandelier for over the kitchen table. Julie put that up for me today. So we have to go get the um, kind of candlelight light bulbs to go with it. So I'm not gonna show you that until everything's all in. And then we're gonna go grocery shopping. We have 16 people, all of our friends over for dinner tonight. And it's gonna be a lot of fun. So um, it's going to be a busy day and it's cold and rainy. It's just gross outside. So um, we're just trying to get ready real quick to run out and get all the food that we need uh, for tonight's dinner. Dinner party. It's going to be a lot of fun. So I'll bring you along once we get to the store. Well, we went to the store and it was just rainy and crappy. So I didn't video anything in the store. But I'm going to show you a couple of things I'm going to make for lunch before we start preparing dinner. But these recipes I cannot take... Um, I guess credit for Miss Liz Hart, who also has a YouTube channel, shared these in one of her videos and I loved it so much. Try these, love them, and I'm making them for our friends tonight. So the first thing I'm gonna make is a apple cider drink. So basically you put it in the crock pot, it makes the house smell really good. So we're gonna have a whoop, two, th three things. It's with apple cider, you're gonna mix apple cider, apple juice, and then some cinnamon sticks. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do here is being that this apple juice is 64 ounces, it's equal parts. I'm going to mix 64 ounces of each. So we're going to go ahead and start with the apple cider. I think we figured that out. This will be four of these. And then I'm basically, because it's quite early, people aren't coming for like three hours. I'm just going to put this on low. This is three, I think. Put this on low and uh, just let it simmer. So when everyone comes, they can grab um, a nice mug full of this and it just is festive. Like today is a perfect fall day for this drink. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish putting this together. And I'm gonna add my cinnamon sticks. Wow, this makes a lot. Hopefully everybody's thirsty. <laughs> but you also can add, if you wanted, a little bit of like caramel vodka to make it a little bit more of an adult beverage. So I'm gonna go ahead and add probably about four cinnamon sticks. And we're just gonna put the lid on this. And we're gonna let this slowly heat up. Smell the house beautifully, make it smell beautifully. And this will be one of our drinks for tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and make um, a really yummy pizza that I got from her as well. It's a pear and prosciutto pizza. I'm gonna get all that together and I'll show you all that when I'm done. I want to show you guys how to make this pear pizza. It is phenomenal. It's been become a family favorite. So I'm excited to make this um, today for lunch again um, for my family. And then uh, before we get dinner started for later today. So basically what you need here is a thin pizza crust. I just used a thin bobbly. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add some fig preserves on here. This is going to basically be our sauce. <laughs> So I'm going to spread this all on here.
ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in a 400 degree oven now. Basically, uh, when Miss Liz Hart, um, she gave the recipe, she said like 20, 15, 20 minutes. It took mine longer, so just watch it. Um, I like mine really crispy and melty, so mine was about a half an hour. So I'll let you know when it's done how long this one took. It took about 25 minutes, so now the last thing you want to do is top it with a little bit of balsamic glaze. So hopefully I can make this pretty. And there you go. So we're going to eat it and we'll let you know how everybody likes it, but it is my favorite. Looks like everyone's going to be coming here soon, so I want to show you what Chef Julie is cooking up for us for dinner. So Jules, what are we having? Tonight we are having maple glazed pork chops with crispy sage and alongside apples and onions with a brown butter sauce. Mm. So the first thing that we're doing is we're frying up our sage and some butter. And this butter will be flavored with the sage, and that's what we will fry our apples and onions in. Oh, that looks so good. So they're gonna have the brown butter sage. And then what's after this? And then after this, um, as soon as the sage is crispy, we'll take that out and put the onions in and get those caramelizing. All right, and then we'll show you after that's done, but I wanted to show you real quick. The light fixture, our new light fixture, Julie put in for us. I love it. Looks beautiful. All right, people are going to be here soon, you guys. Show you all of our desserts. We got snickerdoodle cookies with pumpkin chips in it. We just went to Sam's Club and got some little gourmet loaf cakes and a delicious caramel apple pie. So gonna be festive, it's gonna be fun, and everything is gonna be absolutely delicious. All right, Jolie, what's going on here now? Okay, so don't be startled. We are making a quadruple batch. So this is enough onions for four batches or 16 people. Um, so what we've done here is the, in this pan, the onions are to a nice caramelized state. They're nice and soft. And then we put the apples in and we're getting ready to grate some fresh nutmeg. Oh. And this one is just about ready to put the apples in as well. Yeah. All right. So once the um, onions are, you know, caramelized a little bit, fully cooked, um, then we're going to put the apples in and let those stay in for about five to seven minutes. Perfect. And then we'll check back on the pork chops uh, we in those. just a couple minutes. All right. Yay. So, okay. So watch this. So basically with the nutmeg, you just do this to taste. Um, some people don't like a lot of nutmeg, so it's just whatever whatever you are comfortable with. Oh God. You guys, if you can smell the house right now, it smells simply amazing. And here is the crispy sage. Crispy sage. All right, we'll check back in. All right, Joel. Okay, so right now we are browning the pork chops and then as in this pan, I already took the pork chops out. I put in a couple of tablespoons of butter with some shallots and garlic. Oh and that's going to be part of our sauce, our maple glaze. That sounds absolutely phenomenal. All right, you guys, I'll show you the progress. Stop continuing. All right, you guys, these are the apples and onions, the goat cheese potatoes. We've got some delicious French bread, and I'll show you the pork chops with the crispy sage when I get over to the oven. Okay. Okay. Guys, here are the pork chops. Look at these. Look amazing. I cannot wait to dig in. All right, you guys, here is my din. They love oh, to the bake. Girls are they enjoying. Little orchids enjoying. Oh, he got red wine and a martini glass. Oh, that is a first. <laughs> I love that because it doesn't matter what kind of glass. That's exactly right. All right, I want to sample all this. You guys, we're having dessert. One of the things that we did with the apple cider is we added the vanilla gelato, and everyone tells me it tastes fabulous. One. The dessert. So, all they need to do if your if your eye is on what minus five. So you do call it. All my happy Friday. Um, I just showered, get my hair ready. A lot of chaos going on in this house. Dog work. Everyone's getting ready. We're gonna head out. Um, I made a little quick breakfast, and but last night was so much fun, you guys. It was fabulous. Dinner was amazing.
So uh, I'm definitely going to share that recipe with you guys. But I'll show you my beautiful photo I just took for my blog, for my vlog, and my breakfast. My uh, lovely mug with pumpkin spice muffins and pumpkin butter and my beautiful flowers. So I'm going to go ahead and eat this and then get ready to head out. Guys, it is such a gorgeous day today. Uh, it was raining the last couple of days, so it's so nice to see the gorgeous blue, blue skies. It's gonna be probably about 60 today, so it's perfect for my new poncho. I love it with the faux suede. Got this at one of our favorite boutiques, like 50 Blues, I love this. And then tomorrow is actually gonna be, I think, like 72, so wow. I'm looking forward to that as well. So um, we're gonna go to um, a place for lunch called Vini. And uh, I think I'm gonna get a flatbread and with a, a like they put like a arugula salad in the middle. It's so delicious. And then I go get my nails done. So um, I'm looking forward to it. My sister and Julie are gonna go. Um, Caitlin's in town, my, my youngest, and uh, Allie. So it's gonna be fun. So hopefully we can get lunch in before my nail appointment. So I'll see you guys when I get there. My lunch, caprese salad with under a flatbread. <laughs> Allie's is a salad gumbo. with a flatbread of gumbo. Beverly got a white pizza that we're waiting for. What did you get, Julie? Pierogi pizza. Pierogi pizza and cake. Mac and cheese flatbread. Yum. At my nail appointment, lunch was so delicious. My hands are a little sticky from the balsamic glaze that was on my flatbread and on my caprese salad. So I'm gonna go inside and get my nails done. I'll show you when I'm done and let you know what color. I have no idea what I'm gonna do, so we'll see uh, what I'm feeling by the time she's ready to paint them. All right, you guys, it's about almost 6.30 on Friday night, and we're gonna head to Permantis to watch the Indians in the World Series, game three. So I got an, my Indians shirt on and some uh, jean leggings and boots. And uh, so I'm ready to go to watch the game. Uh, Gary and Jody are gonna pick us up. We're gonna meet some friends, um, other friends there. So go Indians by the time you guys see this. Hopefully we'll be World Series winners. So um, for all you Cub fans, you know, I just gotta root for the Indians, even though technically you guys, I am a Pirates fan, but you know what, I live in Youngstown, which is halfway between Pittsburgh and Cleveland. So um, I'm really happy for the Indians. So yes, go Indians, go Tribe. So Archie, I'm taking Archie out right now and uh, our friends should be here in a few minutes. So uh, you guys, I've shown you Primandis before, but I'm sure I'll show you uh, around when we get there. It's predominantly a Pittsburgh type of place um, that's in our area, but I'm sure it's gonna be filled with Indians fans tonight. So um, I'm real excited to be a lot of fun. So.
Saturday. Gosh, we got a lot going on this morning. Mark and I just went to the grocery store. We're going to go over Gary and Jody's house to watch uh, the Buckeyes play at 3.30 and the Indians in the fourth um, game of the World Series. Gosh, they pulled it out last night. It was a stressful game. So I'm going to make a Greek salad to take over Gary and Jody's. And then I went and got some groceries because the Morgan and Tony will be here tomorrow and Caitlin's coming in and Allie will be here. So we're going to have, I'm going to make bolognese for dinner tomorrow night. So I'm going to show you real quick what I got from the grocery store. So um, I got all my stuff to make Greek salad, just got some fresh romaine, some English cucumbers, red pep, I mean red onion, some green pepper, feta cheese, calamari olives, and then just some Ken's Greek dressing. So I'm gonna whip that together real quick to take over there. And then tomorrow's dinner is gonna be my famous bolognese. So I got my ground sirloin, my crushed tomatoes, my pasta, my fresh basil, Romano cheese and heavy whipping cream and then some spices. Uh, my paste, tomato paste, and then of course for the kids, you know, just to nibble on, I got some fontanella cheese and some margarita pepperoni, which is our favorite. Of course, I picked up more of my pumpkin pie spice coffee. I love, and guess what they have already? Holiday blend, love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and whip this salad together, you guys. And uh, then we're gonna head over to Gary and Jody's. In about two hours, it's about 1.30 now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all this together and she's gonna get um, pizza from one of our favorite pizza places and Jody's gonna, I mean, and Kim's gonna bring some stuff. It's gonna be a lot of food. It's gonna be a long day of sports, but it'll be a lot of fun. It is gorgeous today. It's in the low 70s, so we'll take it. Party's over. All right, guys, got everybody oh, yes. here watching the game. Oh, wow. Michael Alvarini's. More wine and food. I'm so cool. Alright you guys, I'm showing you Jody's beautiful autumn centerpiece. We're enjoying this delicious food. Emily doesn't like to be on. <laughs> Little orchid, Mr. Orchid is making fun of us. Cammy and Corey. We're eating so much delicious food, you guys. Look. Yummy. Happy Sunday. It is actually around 2 o'clock. We have been just chilling out. It was such a late night last night because, yes, the Indians won. You guys, if they win the game tonight, we will win the World Series. So, very exciting late night. So, we all slept in a little bit what, 7.30, 8 o'clock. We made breakfast and I've been doing laundry. And now Morgan and Tony are on their way here. I'm gonna make my bolognese. I'm gonna cut up some cheese, uh, fontanella cheese and pepperoni and just have some little snacks. My mommy's coming for dinner too, so it's gonna be so nice. So I thought I'd show you little Archie this morning. He's tired. All right, so, well, we're watching football as we do on Sundays. Um, so uh, I'm gonna go get some snacks together, get dinner started, and then uh, it's gonna be a long night again watching the Indians, but let's hope that we have a win. It's so exciting. So I'll check in with you guys when I start making my bolognese. I hope you're having a great weekend so far. All right, guys, I've had the sauce for my bolognese cooking. I've got the pasta. I'll show you the pasta noodles. Just put those in. I have the recipe listed in the description section. Once these are ready, I'm gonna go ahead and add some heavy cream, fresh basil, and some nutmeg. I'm telling you, this is an amazing recipe. It's simply delicious. All right, guys, it is the um, World Series tonight. Go Tribe. Dinner was Go fabulous. Go Pittsburgh Pirates. <laughs> All right, you guys. Good luck to the Indians. Game five. My grandpappy. Oh, that's a nice day play. Happy Monday morning. I thought I would come to you uh, just real quick because, you know, it was a busy night. We had the kids home and my sister and Jolie and uh, it was just 
a fun night just hanging around the kitchen table talking watching the Indians so you know moments like that you just don't want to have to put everyone on pause to get out your camera I'm sure you guys understand so I thought I would just come this morning and just touch base real quick and say thank you so much for coming along with me this weekend or week um, so trying to recap a little bit of what we did we just feel like we did so much and watched the Indians unfortunately they lost game five but we've got two more games to go so yes go Indians and um you know it was just a great trip having my sister here in town I loved it Julie is a phenomenal cook she cooked for us and uh all the recipes that we did talk about on this vlog I'm sorry about the lighting you guys um I have in the description section so be sure to check that and uh, the next time you see my vlog I'm gonna give you a hint hold on here I'm not gonna say where but this will have a lot to do with it and it's big and it's one of mine and my husband's favorite cities to visit so we're gonna be there to celebrate our anniversary again this is a hint of where we'll be the big you got it <laughs> so that's gonna be an amazing trip and I'm so excited to bring you guys along for that cannot wait for it myself so that's what my vlog is gonna be all about the next time you guys see me uh, so I hope that you guys uh, have an, a wonderful wonderful two weeks um, we're just gonna have actually a few more days of gorgeous 70 degree weather we'll take it uh, here and hopefully it's gonna be nice when we visit here <laughs> uh, here coming up in the next week or so so uh, again I hope you guys have a great two weeks I look forward to seeing you on my next vlog thank you so much for coming along with me and I will see you next time so say bye Archie bye everybody thanks for watching